Well, they know police are watching, but despite that, a Wave 3 News undercover operation catches the drug dealing still going on, right out in the open, not far from where kids spend their days in child care. Our Wave 3 News investigation finds full-service drug house flourishing right out in the open in a part of Louisville that is trying to turn things around. But is it working? Wave 3's John Bull has some answers tonight in his latest hidden camera exclusive. Taking a bite out of crime with a backhoe. A $157 million project erasing the housing project. Shepherd Square, long regarded a magnet for crime. What happens when you bulldoze the housing project? Where does the crime go then? Neighbors tell me it just moved down the street half a block or so, right here on Clay Street. It's hard to miss. In between people passed out on the sidewalks, big rolled up baggies of drugs hanging out. Dealers gather and count up the inventory, then disperse the inventory to other dealers who fan out at Clay and Broadway. And they literally sit and sell what police say appears to be crack rocks to a steady stream of walk up customers who often place them in their mouth in case cops come and they have to swallow the goods. I'm recording all of this from a childcare parking lot across the street. Collectors, distributors, customers. Sometimes it's fast and you can hardly see it. Sometimes it's obvious with patient outstretched palms. Sometimes it's awkward, the retailer looking around nervously while the buyer tries to fish the cash out of her jeans. She pays the retailer, he forks it over to the banker to get the change and the goods. The customer counts them out and then places some in her mouth. They advertise, flashing double-fisted stockpiles. They use while they sell, this guy packing a blunt out in the open. There's a walk-up window for customers who are willing to get out of their car. But the drive through is always open, too. This guy dances with anticipation for a while before they're able to fill his order. They sell to people on bikes and use bikes to patrol the perimeter for police. Business is so good, they're constantly counting cash. Money is everywhere, every couple of minutes, every day I'm recording. And when it gets really hot, the thick stacks of revenue make a great fan. Officers drive by or even park right in the middle of it, but they slide just out of view. You've been down on that area. It's very uh, hard to sit down in that area and observe uh, because uh, there's the people are always on the lookout for the police. I showed my video to Metro Narcotics. They call it an open air drug market. The LMPD database shows 173 different busts on that block over the past year and a half, many for concealed handguns. With that much money and that much uh, narcotics, there's going to be people down there with, with weapons. And uh, they're criminals. Uh, they, they, they don't have the same value of human life that, that most people do. It's all happening 30 yards from the front door of the Presbyterian Center's child care facility. I've never felt threatened, nor have I ever seen uh, a drug transaction go down. His center sits right between where the drug deals used to be and where they are now. We have always had a good relationship with the community, and the community's always respected us. So does the changing face of public housing change anything when it comes to crime? This 19-year study on homicide in Louisville public housing concludes low-income public housing provides an environment where homicides are likely to occur, and this pattern remained in effect even when the nature of public housing changed. If you look at the aggregate of crime in Louisville, actually we've had years that are up and years that are down unrelated to the projects being torn down, so it's very hard to say that the projects being torn down has caused anything. Uh, you know, but yes, there, I'm sure there is some temporary displacement. In the middle of my investigation, a 40-year-old man was stabbed to death right there at Clay and Broadway. He had just been released from jail 10 days earlier for drug possession. John Bolway, 3 News.